This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up with you? It's Zandos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with a Green's ADP list. That's right. This time around we're throwing away all the Kalios in town and uh, we are actually including very strange cards like Krag and Eldrampa and uh, we're going to rely on the Green's engine. Uh, for those of you that don't know what ADP does, well, you've been sleeping under a rock because it dominated the Latin American internationals. A lot of players played that, and this is the Green's uh, archetype. So uh, this time around, we are going to rely on, of course, good old Green to get our ourselves two trainer cards immediately from the deck. That means we're not playing abilities, we're not playing Caldeos, we're not playing Jirachis, but we are, however, also still playing Cryogonal. This helps out against, of course, the Doll Stall deck with Florigus, but also helps against Pidgeotto Control or even other matches where you can just have that item lock uh, very... Uh, early in the game just using frozen lock and maybe they don't get out of it which is awesome not only that there's two copies of that in there so even if they have a tech card like some say uh, people run spirit tomb and their florigus uh, build well we have two of them so uh, they will need to go through two of those in order to just uh, get rid of us we also have lucario and Mel metal throne in here very great against gardevoir we are however weak tooth fairy we are gonna cover that thanks to lucario and Mel metal and the full metal wall gx can also come in handy uh, against certain matchups drumpa is very amazing because uh, as soon as we get that altered creation jacks off this dra dragon arcana can actually dish out 170 which is enough to uh, get rid of Keldeo. that is the main reason it's in here uh, we have of course the tag call engine that means uh, we can get of course uh, Malo and Lana to heal off very great against uh, Malamar we have Guzman uh, Hala which means we can search uh, a stadium card uh, that means we can either get Kyalex well if need be or uh, the power plant but also we can get a Pokemon uh, that can be our Cryogonal and we can also get an energy card so how good is that? Uh, there's also uh, the Cynthia and Catelyn, which means we can recover supporters. That could be like uh, more Mallow and Lanos or maybe Chandler. Chandler is interesting because some people are running, running Latios GX to use that GX move. So uh, that means we cannot use our GX move thanks to Clear Vision. That means that uh, we remove all effects uh, on you and each of our Pokemon. So that means we can get rid of effects like that. So uh, we remove all effects of attacks on you so that everything that the opponent dishes out uh, on us we can get rid of that so that's why channeler is in here and then three copies of reset stamp that's why green engines are just so fun to play with because you can stamp when the time is right to get energies we even have energy spinner and poke gear will get of course that green early game yeah, that's a pretty uh, straightforward greens build. Uh, the only thing I'm wondering is that there's only one copy of Great Catcher. They opted to go for custom catchers. I uh, do think that is a great choice. Definitely against Doll Stall decks. So that definitely helps out a lot. We'll see how the list uh, uh, yeah, cracks on on the TCG Online program. Let's just have to find the deck first. ADP with green. Where did I put it? Greens ADP. Uh, yeah, I have so many decks on the TCG online right now that I sometimes cannot find the correct deck. Here we have them. Greens ADP. This is a list, the top eight list of the Latin American internationals. We saw that the uh, regular build with Caldeo also did fine. So I wonder uh, which version I prefer. This is going to be the first time I'm going to pilot this Greens build. We'll see how it goes. Uh, don't get uh, too uh, crazy on the comment section because we're going to just try it out and see if the archetype works. We're facing off against Brandon, uh, 777, so 777. We'll see. He's probably playing... I don't know what he's playing. We'll see. We're going to go first. We are a green engine. We can use that extra attachment of the turn. And we start with Arceus de Aga Falca, which is fine. That means we can get that alter creation going on the second turn, which is totally awesome. Yeah, I uh, forgot to mention we have choice helmets. That means we can uh, survive ahead against, of course, Mewtwo, uh, which can use like that 300 damage attack. That we can survive that. Can you imagine that? So crazy. Okay, the opponent has an active Pokemon. We have two Poke here, so hopefully there's a green end there. That's always something we want. Oh, there's Mallow and Lana immediately. We are even we even top deck the green. How cool is that? So we are gonna put this choice helmet over here. Gonna get that energy. Onto the Arceus Dalga Palkia, and now I wonder: should we go for a Poke Gear or do we use Green here? We definitely have everything we need, so I'm gonna go for a Green first and see what we need. Uh, we need an extra energy. The Water Energy is covered thanks to the Unit Energy. That is already fine as it is. Uh, we can Stamp. We have a Tackle, which can search any supporters. 
This is uh, looking like some kind of a, a deck that likes to use uh, some crazy shenanigans with abilities. So I'm gonna get Power Plant and uh, maybe Cynthia and Catelyn because uh, there's still a lot of greens left in the deck. With Poke Gear, we can fish those out and fetch them while we add it. There's also like Pokemon Communication in our list, which helps out, but we don't have any Pokemon in hand, so it's not even worth of getting that. We do have great potions to heal ourselves off completely, but we have all the energies in hand, so I think I'm gonna go for Cynthia and Catelyn and the Power Plant, and I think that is just fine on the early phase of the game. We have Draw Power, while we can also smack down the Power Plant and see if that helps us out on the early phase of the game. Tackle could have also gotten us another Arceus Delga Palkia, but we're not ready just yet. We still need to use the Altered Creation, and I think we can definitely survive a hit. Okay, it is Gardevoir. Interesting. So that power plant was irrelevant. I thought it was some kind of like a Pika Rom or maybe a, a ability Zard, but I, I guess I just had to look at the typings. It is Gardevoir. So a power plant will not help out a lot. He switches out to his Gardevoir, probably gonna see a Fairy Song immediately, and uh, this is looking very scary. If he has like attack uh, switch, that means we are automatically destroyed. So we need to get, of course, our Lucario and Melmetal up as quickly as possible. So in this case, I'm fine by using... This guy has a 1 retreat cost. Oh, that's just nasty. Okay, I wonder where we should go from here on out. I think we definitely need a green on this scenario. Okay, Pokegear whiffs. That's sad. We're gonna try it again. Pokegear, come on, man. We have the green, so we can get, of course, a tackle going around. Okay. Green is coming up. And uh, we have... Uh, let's see here. What can we use? We have the tackle. And we can use the communication. Mm-hmm. I wonder what we should do. Tackle together with... Switch, so we are safe one turn. Nah, he's gonna blow up on us, although we can definitely go with a crazy play afterwards. We'll see. Okay, we can get rid of all of his energies with that, so tackle together with... Yeah, the Lucario Melmetal is in there, which is fantastic, so we're gonna get this tackle running. We actually should have gotten the tackle except for like that Cynthia and Catelyn, now that I think about it. Oh well. Uh, reset stamp is not gonna help us out too much. Yeah, he's probably gonna go crazy. I think I'm gonna go for another green here. We're gonna go with tackle and green. And with tackle, we're gonna grab ourselves the Lucario and Melmetal and this guy. We already have all of these. This also can get a special energy. Maybe a frozen lock could have also been very fun. Switching around and using that frozen lock would have actually been a lot of fun. Well, I'm actually gonna grab. Uzma and Lana, mm. don't need to get these guys, let's get that instead. Alright, things are heating up. This guy is actually gonna be taking a while to set up. Uh, for the rest of the game, 30 less damage, looks fine, as it is. He can go crazy on us, he can do that, but doesn't matter too much. Let's set this guy up, we can actually slow the opponent down a little bit. With Great Catcher, we'll see how we go from there. So we're using Cynthia and Catelyn. Actually throwing away the Guzman Lana and... We could switch around here. Ah, let's get rid of this. And target this guy down. So we maybe have another turn. We'll see. Yeah, we cannot use the attack just yet. I actually want to keep myself safe for now. And uh, if he knocks us out by using having switch and of course the attack switch, we will be in some serious trouble. If he finds the green, he has the green, so we're in a lot of trouble from the, the get-go. So hopefully we can get this uh, full metal wall GX off because this GX is not going anywhere. Although smacking 150 damage times 2 is 300, I think we will survive that hit thanks to the choice helmet, which is very interesting to see. Okay, switch and a green, so we might even get this altered creation GX off. Although we have a green, we can actually use switch together with whatever we, we, we want. So it's a green spell, we can get whatever we want. Even the Mellow and Lana could work out in this scenario to switch around, healing some damage while getting rid of the opponent's energies. Custom Catcher is getting both of them immediately. Ooh, that is scary. Okay, Kaleido Storm, 150 damage. Hmm. That is a lot of damage. You can say that again. But we are gonna use the jet. He's gonna move all these up. Yeah, move two energies around. Fine. Okay, we can 
use Mallow and La and then use the GX move. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna go for a green. All these greens in a row. Okay, what now? Great potion. Can heal off some damage twice. Do we use Kadax? Well, actually, now that I think about it, we can heal with Mallow and Lana. Getting a switch as well. He can actually smack 170 after that, and if we heal 50. Uh, if we heal 50, he can still knock us out. So I think going for two great potions is gonna be the key in this scenario. Great potion! Ta -da! We're gonna get this up and rolling. Another great potion. <laughs> so we're gonna go keep it slow and steadily. Here we go. Full Metal Wall GX. Getting rid of all the opponent's energies on this active and... Uh, if he has another green in hand, he will be getting out of this scenario. Otherwise, we should be good to go using... I okay, he has another green! Oh boy! This is a terrible scenario. Switch and energy spinner. Oh boy. And we will not be able to uh, recuperate that Lucario Melmetal if he just goes crazy. Switch. Huh. Energy spinner. One energy. That means he has the switch and tech. Uh, yeah, switch and uh, the tech switch. Everything that he wants. And he's gonna be using Kaleido Storm, presumably. Yeah, Kaleido Storm for the only damage. We are still alive, though. Moving around all of his energies. Or just one. Yeah, two energies. I already used two custom catchers in the scenario. Okay. We have a communication. We can get another Pokemon out, but I think the better plan of action is to just use this Metal and Lana. Yeah, we're gonna heal him off. Heal off the damage. Ta -da. And now we can just buy ourselves some turns so we can slowly set, of course, our Lucario Mel Mel up. He might have attack switch in the hand. Coach Trainer for four. Bro, wonder if he has anything. Okay, energy, Kaleidostorm. Oh yeah, we actually have like zero cards in the hand, so it's irrelevant. He can use Fairy Sun all he wants. Okay. What else? Drawing a card. Bam, it is an energy. It's actually not bad. 200, yeah, let's get this on this guy. Although, if we can get it on this guy, he's probably gonna smack us sooner or later. Let's get to this guy first. Our Lucario Metal Metal is being prepared. Even if he smacks 200 damage, that's reduced by 30. That's 170. We survived that hit. That means we can knock out this guy. He has to two-shot us. Well, we can one-shot. And he can one-shot this guy. If we top deck in energy, we should be good. We are definitely gonna use stack switch. All the energies are divided here. Will he have the card that he desperately needs? Nope, Fairy Song. If we tell that like energy, we could also like use Ultimate Ray, but no. Yeah, it is an energy. That's too bad. Leave it in the hand? Not really. It is so sad. Yeah, let's get it over here. Yeah, this guy is set up, so he's probably looking for custom catchers. He can do that all he wants. If he knocks us out, we knock him out. And that's how it goes. Cynthia and Catelyn, probably gonna use it to get a green back so he can custom catch. If there's one custom catcher price, things are looking good. Okay, what is he gonna do? Drawing a lot of cards. He had like a bazillion cards in the hand. We can like stamp him and knock this guy out, which should be the, the way to victory. Okay, a green. Is he gonna target our Lucario Melmel? -Mel? I wonder. We still have one prizer left in the form of Krag and all. Okay, he just gives a turn. We can stamp him. He looks to be having nothing in hand. He does have a green back. Yeah, he's just gonna pass the turn. We're gonna stamp him to three next turn. Could have stamped him right now, but there's no point of doing that. He could, yeah. Cynthia and Catelyn, he likes, uses the Mellow and Lana to like switch around. 
he could gust ourselves up, but there's six prize cards. I wonder if he has like a custom catcher prize. That sometimes happens, right? Yeah, Mellow and Lana switches around and uh, now he's gonna knock ourselves out with the GX move. Maybe Dag Switch. Dag Switch using it twice. We do only have a reset stamp. Ch Island's Challenge Amulet, oof. Oh, this guy gets reduced HP, minus 100, but still. <clears throat> yeah, Caligula Storm still does not knock us out. Is he gonna move all the energies to the Gardevoir? Nope. He's moving them all to the bench, so he has two targets remaining. Okay, even if we use like the Ultimate Ray and kept our energies, he still would have healed out damage with Mellow and Lana. Okay, energy switch. Getting a water energy while we're at it. Hmm. What to do? Water energy. Yeah, he's got probably gonna use stack switch or whatever. I wanna wait with the uh, the reset stamp. I wanna wait with that. He knocks us out, we stamp him, that's how we go. Stamp KO and then try and get it twice. The only thing we need after it works is like uh, a green, one green. There's three greens prize though. Actually, three greens in the discard pile. Okay, so uh, looks like we are in a tough situation where uh, the opponent can do whatever he pleases. If he knocks us out, we are actually uh, getting uh, our uh, main strategy going. That means stamp and knock him out. That's what we want. Two green builds against each other. He draws so many cards, it's so ridiculous. Okay, Kaleo Storm, he uh, falls into our trap and now we can finally start doing some stuff. If we can get a Mellow and Lana, we can even heal off the damage he throws at us with Kaleido Storm because Kaleido Storm only smacks 150. Okay. When well, you only get two prize cards with this Island's Challenge Amulet, which is just insane to think about. Huh. What now? We definitely need to, like, get, of course, a green. Green would be fantastic. We'll see what we get. So. It's our turn, we draw a card, it is Tackle, which is actually not bad. Tackle can get us some supporters. Uh, Cynthia and Catelyn. Mallow and Lana. Uh, Cynthia and Catelyn again. We can Gust again with this. Mallow and Lana. Let's get these two cards. Cynthia and Catelyn, so we can draw. We're gonna stamp. Da 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 da! Stamping him to three cards. Actually, don't want to target this guy. How many custom catchers? Zero. That's cool. Since young Catlin, we're gonna put a supporter back in the hand. That's gonna be our uh, green. Mellow and Lana is also cool to get back. And we get three cards as well. Okay. Okay, what now? I think the better plan is this guy might not have a green or attack switch, so we might as well use Steel Fist on this guy first. 100 damage. Save ourselves a turn so we can heal off completely with the combination of the Mellow and Lana. We'll see if he gets something from that uh, top deck. He only has four cards. Zero cards on his guard of and Sylveon. Reset stamp us. It's totally fine. Custom catcher. Ah, we have a Krygon Aldo. Hey, I have an idea. Deck switch is not working now. Three energies over here, two energies over there. Does he still have an energy left? He still has Mallow and Lawn though. Yeah, let's get this guy up and rolling. Energy over there. Uh, yeah, this guy will actually cause us a lot of trouble now that I think about it. Hmm. Retreat? This goes away, this goes away, that goes away. We're gonna go with Kryganol going crazy. Here we go. Frozen lock, 10 damage. 
So now he uh, cannot use any item card, so no tag switches. And uh, this guy will be stuck unless... Okay, he has the Melo and Lana combo which he can use right now. Draws three cards, gets Melo and Lana back. But still he's an item lock, that means if he knocks our Krygon all out, we can stamp him to two, knock this Gardevoir out. Okay, and we still have custom catchers, so that's cool. Energy spinners, let's get another energy over here. Stamp him again, so he doesn't draw into that. Energy spinner, we actually need to draw into custom catcher so badly, there's all of them in there. Don't need to get, like, waste our time with this dude. Frozen lock. So this is a strange scenario where we gotten into. He has 100 HP less, so after four frozen locks, he's gonna get knocked out. So funny, right? With Tackle, he could find his Mellow and Lana, but there's two Tackles in his discard pile. Okay, the green coming up. What is he gonna grab with the green? Frozen Lock is actually working out in our favor this time. The only thing we need is like a custom catcher on this guy so we can knock this guy out. And uh, we can also like heal if we find another Mellow and Lana. Very strange match indeed. He gets Mellow and Lana for next turn and Cynthia and Catelyn. It's fine. He can heal this guy off completely, actually. Very scary. Oh, this is perfect. Just what we needed. So, we custom catch this guy. There we go. That's what we wanted. And uh, now we are going to give this guy an energy. We're going to retreat. And here comes the big bat. Heavy metal wall, actually, <laughs> the attack. Bam, 300 damage. And now we get three prize cards, which is awesome. So now we're equal in prize cards. So we definitely need this Lucario Mel Metal against Gardevoir, as you can see. And uh, we have like the, the Kraganel to save ourselves, okay, buying ourselves a couple of turns. And now, if, even if he promotes this card, it's not even too uh, helpful because uh, he cannot do anything about it. And we have a switch card so we can go with the Kryganel combo once again. He does have Malamon Long. Alright, things are looking up. This is a, was a strange matchup indeed. I actually did some weird plays here and there, but looks like things are finally looking up. What is he gonna do? Even if he smacks 200 damage, that's gonna get reduced. And even with 200 damage, we still survive. So even if we like top deck a Malamon Lana, we have a switch, so it's looking fine can knock out anything we want. Let's see. Okay, it's our turn. That is very ridiculous. So we... First, I'm gonna use Poke Gear. Yeah, we find the green, so that's game. Ooh, yeah! Find the last green of the deck. Custom catchers, and uh, that is well played. So we actually survived... Uh, thanks to the crazy power of Lucario and Mel Metal going for weakness, and uh, that's it. Well played. You can even uh, stamp him, but it's irrelevant. So, heavy metal impact. <laughs> yeah, you have a good deck. It was very fun to play, though. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me playing with Arceus Dalga Palkia. So, the main thing is actually, I'm gonna be playing another game here because uh, we definitely need to showcase some more power here. So, let's go with another round. All right, we have another game in and uh, we are f up against like a fire carless fighting deck. So I don't know what we're up against, which is always the fun part on the versus ladder. So I want to get another game in just for you guys, because I wanted to showcase what Arceus Alga Palkia is really all about. In our previous match, it was like showing the tech card Lucario Mel Mel is necessary against Gardevoir. So I said like, yeah, let's get another game in here and uh, we'll see how it goes. A fire deck with fighting type Pokemon in there. It's been a while since I've seen fighting types, so... We have Kryganol, that is okay, I guess. We have a switch card, we have Tackle, the necessary energies for Arkeal, the Alga, Palkia, so our hand is not looking too shabby. Okay, we have the Tackle, which can search Cynthia and Catelyn. Okay, Grease, Reshazard. What can I do about that? Well, first, I am going to use the Tackle and search for whatever we want. Definitely not getting Lucario Mal Metal out this time around. Let's get Cynthia and Catelyn. Mal Metal, and this is not necessary. So I'm just going to check a little bit. Two custom catchers and three reset stamps. All right. Let's get this up and rolling. Smack this down. Mm, power plant. Why not? Going to be using the 
energy spinner, thinning out the deck a little bit more, getting another water energy. Gonna attach a metal type energy and going to be using the Cynthia and Catelyn and uh, yeah. Put a second for this uh, We're gonna discard Yeah, a water energy. Definitely gonna draw another energy either way. Da -da -da -da, or not. <laughs> okay, with Cynthia and Catelyn we can still use tackle, so we can tackle again. That's Cynthia and Catelyn. Melon Law could be fun. Cynthia and Catelyn and Arceus out of Falcon. I think that's fine. Let's get these cards. And let's call it a day. So we are gonna get our altered creation off on the second turn, which is not too bad. Unfortunately, uh, we're up against the Green's build. That means he probably will have, of course, double blaze already. That can smack 300. So we might even have to go for like the Guzman Hala could actually get the choice helmet. Maybe we should have gone with that. Could have also like an ensured our energy. But we still have one turn left, so we might as well draw Poke Gear or another Tackle, and we should be good to go. Tackle is just so broken, as you can see. Probably gonna see, yeah, Reshazar and Cynthia and Catelyn. As to be expected from, yeah, he's using green right now. Welder, Fiery Flint. Will that be the case? Energy Spinner, oh boy. Gonna go for the item lock. So that's what the fighting type was all about. It was an Amistar. So now that I know how this deck wins against control, they were using Amistar. And uh, we can put him in an item lock as well. Will that be very interesting? Who knows? We can use Kraigen all here. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, he's going to use Flare Starter. Getting energies onto his Reshazard. If he has a Welder and energies, we are gonna be done for. So Choice Helmet should have been the key here. Although double blaze goes to any effect, so hmm. pretty scary. Pretty scary indeed. First things first, tackle again. We get yeah, we can like do very very interesting stuff. We don't have we don't have tax switch. Uh, Guzma Hala. Hmm. Stadium card. While also getting energy. Now well, let's get wrapped those two. Next up, we are gonna use the Cynthia and Catelyn. Uh, we are gonna discard. What is discard? Power plant? Yeah, one of these guys. We get three of them. Energies again. Altered creation GX. Are we gonna use that? Probably. So let's use this, getting a switch off, still needs a switch of his own. Mm -hmm. Okay, Altered Creation GX. That means we take additional prize cards, so this Volcanion becomes a 2 prizer and Reshazar becomes a 4 prizer. Very interesting. Will he have Welder, Attachment and Switch? That would be insane. Let's see here. Welder, two energies. Is he gonna go crazy and destroy our uh, Arctis Agapelki in one shot? Reshazard, crazy. Energy, oh, the energy goes on the Volcanion. That's good news for us. High Heat Blast putting 110 damage on us. Okay, that's fine. So, Malo and Lana could be very nice right now, but we'll see. Altered Creation. He also has healing cards of his own, presumably. Mm, let's get the Skyrox well. Smack this down. We can custom catch or great catch. Maybe great catch is better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use a green right now. Gonna get. Two great potions. Reset stamp, definitely. Reset stamp. And one great potion, that means he's 60. We are at 220. You can still use that other attack, so great potion becomes irrelevant. 
could use both of them. And knock this guy out. So he, this guy has to use his GX move on this guy. Eh, maybe that is not too bad. A great potion. A great potion again. We are almost completely healed, so we can use this. Uh, what else? Great potion, Pokey Gear. Might as well use Pokey Gear right now. It fails, unfortunately. Custom catch. Do we target this guy? I wonder if he plays healing cards. If not, we should be good. If he is, it's not looking good. Ultimate Ray. Well, let's use Ultimate Ray right now. Getting two prize cards in the process. One, two, three. Yeah. Three energies on our next Arceus, the Agapalka. And that's, suppo that's how it's supposed to go. We are now afraid of the Arceus, actually of, or of, of the Rash's Arc, which is going to come in swing. One. Yeah, we got a green. And we got so many custom catchers. We have so many gusting options. If we can even use them. Yeah, if he has almost star in the in the place, things will go very bad very quickly. Since young cat. The reason why I didn't want to attack him is that if he has Mellow and Llama, he can heal off all the damage, so gusting on this guy would have been a bad decision. Okay, Green's Exploration. What now? This guy <laughs> smacks too much damage. I, I wonder if we're able to like do something against uh, Rachizard entirely. Against Gardevoir, worked out. Okay, the stamp is good. We didn't have too much great stuff, although the green was nice. Okay, Pokegear. If he gets a star right now, we should be in a pickle. Chaotic Swell, so that means he cannot rely on like Heat Factory or Giant Heart. Or even the Shrine if he wants to dish out extra damage. Looks like he's not getting star anytime soon. Okay, Flare Strike. He's not going for, not going for the GX move here. So, energy spinner, getting ourselves a water energy. I'm gonna go for Poke Gear. We can have Mellow and Llama, which is fantastic to heal off this guy. We can actually smack 20 damage while putting him in an item lock. I wonder if that is a great decision. He has to use his GX move otherwise. Interesting. So we Mellow and Lana, put him in an item lock, or actually already smack 150 damage. Probably has an answer against it. Mellow and Lana, switch to the bench while healing damage. Yeah, this guy, mm, yeah, both of them are irrelevant. Okay, let's smack a little bit of damage with Cryogonal. He is in the Flare Strike position, frozen lock. So he is in an item lock, so Custom Catcher and Great Catcher does not work. And uh, we dish out 80 damage, which is insane. He could just use Outrage, but that's fine. That is crazy. 80 damage with Cryogonal, he's in an item lock, so... Which is very fantastic. So next up we can smack 180. 180 with the 80, is still not knocking him out, but still... We have two shots, he has to heal a huge amount of damage and I wonder if he has what it takes. Matt might get himself Mellow and Lana. Even with Mellow and Lana, he's going to go down to 140 again, so... This Cryogonal putting in work. He's gonna take a prize card, but it's not too shabby. Okay, he has to prom uh, dedicate energies onto this Reshizard in order to... Yeah, he got a Fire Crystal. Yeah, both cards he cannot use, he's in an item lock, which is fantastic. This guy still needs an energy. Okay, he's gonna set up uh, Charizard and Braxton. Okay. Outrage. And uh, now we actually promote the Arceus Dalgapelka, which is not damaged just yet. And uh, also get this up and rolling. This one prizer. One prizer can still smack a lot of damage. Ultimate Ray. Bam! Ooh, so much damage. 
two energies coming over here. Okay, so that's how the deck functions, which is fantastic. Okay, now the only thing we need is a great catcher. Or, yeah, green, green, great catcher, pokey gear, all of those will work fine to get ourselves this KO here. He still needs to dedicate an energy onto Reshazard in order to use the GX move and then knock us out. And then we can just simply promote Drampa. We have, of course, Retreat Cost, which we can have. Ha Ooh, Lieutenant Search Strategy. The only thing we need to do is knock out a Tag Team, and we should be good. All right. Still have Special Energies in the deck to just go crazy with Drampa. All right. Mallow and Lana healing himself up, as to be expected. The only thing we need to top back is a green or a Poke Gear to find a green. There's still three greens left, two Poke Gears left. Or we can get Great Catcher initially? We'll see. 130 damage remaining. Welder coming onto this guy. Yeah, he can use two supporters. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Look down and search. Crazy. He can smack 180 and then get three cards that he wants. Probably all his, all his healing cards. Custom Catcher. He's gonna go for, yeah, the damaged one. Ooh, that's, this is very scary. How many custom catchers in this car pile? Only two. Hmm, scary. Attack switch as well. His final energy. And now with his attack, he can get, of course, um, Fire Crystal in combination with Welder and all that stuff. Maybe if we drop back like another Cryogonal and a unit energy, we can still put him in an item lock, but this is not looking good. Hmm, what to do now? Oh, there's no way. We need to top deck Green's Exploration right now. Otherwise, we will lose this game. Come on. Takes his three prize cards. We can still stamp him, though. So even if we don't draw into what we need, we can still stamp him. Even a Cynthia and Catelyn can, at this point, save our game. Okay. Promoting this, just to be sure. He probably has the custom catchers in his hand, but... Might as well promote Drampa, you know? Okay, what do we top deck? A uh, choice helmet. Well, that's very funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Yeah. Even if we knock like smack damage on this guy, probably has welder and all that good stuff in the hand. Although three welders in his hand. Actually in his discard pile. Do we retreat and smack damage or do we uh, there's nothing we can lose by using the Drampa here, right? Probably has Mallow and Llama either way, so I'm just gonna go with Dragon Claw and see if he has what it takes. He needs a great catcher and he needs a welder and Yeah, there's a lot of stuff he needs. Okay, he retreats. No Mellow and Lana here. Fire Crystal. Getting the energies. He's gonna use Welder and we will be done for. So if we would've top deck like a green, we would've won. So that's how good this deck actually is. We just need a little bit of practice, but the green's build of Arceus de la Pelkia works as well. Maybe uh, an extra great potion couldn't hurt. Rare Candy Amastar, so mm, not in an item lock because he has more bench Pokemon than us. Will he have the Great Potion? Actually, the Great Catcher. Great Catchers coming on to Ar Arceus de Algapalga. Oh boy. Will he have the Welder with the two energies? Probably. I think he only has one Welder left. Let it be prized. Let it be prized. He's taken a while, but probably has it already. The only thing we need is like... Mellow and Lana? What? Healing the damage off? That's also a way. He's like using Cynthia and Catelyn to get a Welder back. That could happen. Okay, this guy has still the GX move. Attach 5 energy from this pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Ooh! Yeah, switching again. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, energy of the turn. 
and boom. Okay, now that I think about it, we should have definitely smack damage on this guy. Oh boy. Good retreat. Mmm. Smacking damage or retreating. Either way, we are screwed. Although we still have custom catchers. Good custom catcher does almost are and like use uh, <laughs> the uh, Krygon all here. Let's retreat for now and smack the damage. Dragon Claw. Boom. Here we go. Yeah. If we would have gotten a choice ban or something, things would have turned out perfectly, but no. Great catcher, he has it, so that is well played. So uh, he saw both perspectives of the Arceus Dalga Palka. It could go very nicely by using your tech cards, but against the Reshazar, it's a little bit difficult. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.